Alright, it's time to reinstall our radiator. I'm gonna clean up the, the union so there's no debris on there or anything. Just make sure it's clean. Now I'm going to apply some pipe coat to the part of the union that comes together. You don't need pipe coat. But we're here and this might help me out, so we're going to do it. I'm going to apply a very thin layer here. You, you don't need a lot because you're not trying to seal threads. You're just trying to seal the union. And that surface, they come together and seal up. Now I have to say, if you take this apart again, the pipe that's go is going to be a hassle because you're going to have to clean it off the next time it comes together. So we we put a new floor in here. The pipe isn't going to exactly match up to the radiator. But I'm pretty sure with a little bit of persuasion we'll get this together. I thought I would be able to pull it up and tighten it up. It's going to need a little bit more than that. So once we figure out, we need to get the cardboard out from underneath it. We, we use that to slide the ready in our row on the new floor. This floor is one of those something other floors. So we're, we're, we're going to have to do something else to get these to line up. This is on a, a second floor, so we don't have access to the basement. So we're a little bit limited on how we can push the pipe up. If it was in the basement, we can just put a jack underneath it with a 2x4 and gently raise it up. Here we don't have that option. The valve side hooked up easily, just went back together. We pulled it right up and tightened it up. On the return side, we're going to need a little more help. So we need to figure out a way to raise this pipe up, line it up, and get it started. Once you get it started, you're in pretty good shape. It'll come together. But I don't care how long I try here, it's not going to go together just by pulling the pipe up. It'll just take a minute to figure that out. So eventually, I'm going to use a pipe wrench. I'm going to use that to pull the pipe up a little bit and then connect it. So the floor, the floor lifts the rounding in up just a little bit. And I'm going to have to say, putting the floor underneath the radiator makes it look a whole lot better than cutting around it. Now if you don't want the radiator on top of the floor, you don't think that's stable enough and you think the floor is going to not to be able to move around, then the process is still the same. Except you would put the radiator in place and cut where the radiator legs are sitting on the floor so it can sit on the original floor. 
All right, I finally get this thing started. Now I don't have anywhere to back this up. So I'm just gonna give it a, a pretty good tightening. You have to be careful and you know, over tighten it, crack your fitting. I'm using an 18 inch pipe wrench, which is too big for this. I would suggest maybe an adjustable presser wrench, 12 inch. It'd be a lot better. It would give you even torque on the on the nut. But I had a pipe wrench here, so I went ahead and used it. Being careful not to over tighten it or angle the fitting. On the supply side. I'm able to back this one up. So once I get it tightened up, I will back it up and make sure it's nice and snug. The last thing we want to do is uh, loosen up the thinning and create a link because we didn't back something up. So you should always, always use two pipe wrenches wherever possible to loosen or tighten anything. Again, the pipe wrench is too big for this. You gotta be careful when you don't do any damage. So we're able to get everything back together put our scutcheons on and of course there will be a video on how to run that floor underneath your radiator you can shut the, the drain turn the supply back on turn the boiler on Put a metal switch plate cover on our list of things to buy. Clean the radiator. Check for leaks. And we're back in business here. Everything's hooked up. You can see the channel lock screwdriver there. Made in the USA. I don't see any leaks. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with the way everything went back together. Looks good.